Today you have become an Ike. You will be an Ike for the rest of your lives. And that is so true of the UCT Rugby Club. The day you come and you pull that jersey over your head for the first time, you become an Ike Tiger and you're an Ike Tiger for the rest of your life. UCT Rugby represents more than just a rugby club. You don't realize what a special place this is until you're involved. But rugby is part of my blood. I grew up next to a rugby field. I remember my dad taking me to rugby games. He was also an administrator. So this is really something that comes from within. The game of rugby bonds you because if you for 80 minutes have to play Marty's or Tickies, you've got to trust your fellow player. You've got to play for your fellow player. You've got to hurt for your fellow player. That makes for a, a life bond relationship. Uh, I think the most enjoyable year that I ever had in rugby anywhere, at any time, anywhere in the world, was playing for UCT under 20 in 1970. Happiest rugby days of my whole life were playing in the MC Marriott team with some guys I'd studied with, you know, you know the Sean Kutziers and Derek Kirsches, and it was unbelievable memories, you know, and that we still get together every now and again. It was very, very competitive. Well, those were the best years of my rugby life. Guys just come in and have a good time, you know, and they enjoy their rugby and uh, and they're boisterous and they're young um, and they're intelligent. And um, so I think I think also um, scope for creative behaviour is always a, uh, is a license. <laughs> the, the famous university of Stellenbosch where we had the UCT Martineering Club chairman in fairly inebriated fashion hanging by one hand from the main grandstand of the Donny Craven Stadium. And that day happened to be a, a gym club or whatever, bodybuilders or and and, and Tim said it was packed. It's all is packed man, obviously. And and fish all passed and he looked at this guy and he turned around and he was, he was quite tall too, he turned around, walked right in the front, just pushed him aside, dropped his back and literally ripped his top off. <laughs> like ah like an incredible off. And I said like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> And from that day, we became best of friends. We were friends today. <laughs> and like, I think we come off a bad loss and guys were sitting in the change room, sort of like, could have cut the, the athlete with a knife. It was dreadful. And the next thing, through the old change room door, this like, Spider-Man just like, appeared out of nowhere, <laughs> running around like a madman, and it was Dobbo. And he dressed up in a Spider-Man suit, <laughs> just started running around the change rooms, um, acting like a total, like, lunatic. <laughs> But I mean, it just changed the whole sort of, uh, you know, atmosphere and how guys were feeling. And yeah, I think we went on to win the next couple of games. And then of course, winning the FNB Varsity Cup in 2014, when there was that fantastic last moment try, when everybody else thought that, every, that we were down the drain, everybody else except the 15 guys on the field was so talk about 2014 final we we still whenever we see each other we just we're reminded of that moment you know our players don't get paid there's no big paychecks and bonuses and things like that guys play here for each other for the friendships they make and for the vibe they've they've, they've endeavored to go far and wide and to say listen if there's a good player in here, we can give an opportunity to it's it's something that they do and as a black player at UCT and as one of the few black club captains, I would say I, I got it, I got to see the behind the scenes of the club and I was, with what I saw there, I was, I was thoroughly impressed. Getting a degree at the best university and, and playing for Arcus, it's a, it's a winning combination. It, it, always, it always brings you back to the club. It's what, what they put in, into you at that time here. Yeah. We enjoyed it. We played for it. We didn't always win in those days, but we were happy. What keeps me coming back is, again, is, is the quality of human that you encounter when you're here. Um, and just to see how much this club changes and contributes towards people's lives. This, for me, it was a better place to help shape my, my dad's life than, than, than the city. Often people who aren't even as closely associated with the rugby club will talk about Aiki Tigers. They'll talk about UCT rugby because there's a sense of pride when you think of that team and that pride is not based only on results. 
is based on how these boys have, have conducted themselves. You know, I think from Judge Tibber to Cecil Moss, who will mail me after every single game that Western Province play now and give me his thoughts, Basil Bay, Gus Enderstein, and Nick Mallett, who says to me straight out that his happiest days of his rugby career were playing at the, at the University of Cape Town. So to, these people are you know, great rugby men, but first and foremost, they regard themselves as Ikees and subscribe to those values. And I'd like them to think back on the years they played here, the happiness they had, the camaraderie, the friendship that was made, the, uh, the girls that they met, and all the aspects of university rugby life. They had a marvelous time. Uh, but if you could in any way help the club to keep going, it's a bit of a tough time now, and they deserve every bit that people can give them to, to carry on. Unfortunately, without the ability to compete at the highest level in the Varsity Cup and as a competitive side in the Western Province Leagues, the rugby opportunity for the entire club um, would probably fade away without a competitive side. Could you imagine UCT without a rugby club? I think we've got a responsibility to generations to come to make sure they can experience those wonderful memories that we've had. The day you come and you pull that jersey over your head for the first time, you become an Aiki Tiger, and you're an Aiki Tiger for the rest of your life.